What is going on guys? This is my walkthrough of Dragon Age Origins. Once I finish Dragon Age Origins, I'll play Dragon Age Awakening. And then I was thinking about doing Liliana's song. Let me know what you think about that. And then we're going to move on to Dragon Age 2 and then Dragon Age Inquisition. Now sit back and relax. But it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the dark's They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. So that was the backstory for Dragon Age Origins about the Dark Spawn and how we will play a part. Right here, I chose a female because I always felt like I played better as a female. I don't know why. That's just my preference. And then I was trying to decide on this one whether I want human or elf. I've done a dwarf before. I've done a human. I've done an elf. So I've played the game multiple times, but I chose elf. And right here, it was between rogue and warrior. I was deciding between a mage, but I'm not very good with a mage. So I chose... A warrior because in my opinion I am really really good being a warrior like I am really good up front being the leader of the battle and I just feel like that fits me best in this game now right here I was assigned between Dallas elf or city elf it was really hard to pick because I've done Dallas before but I've also done City and I honestly was like which one would probably be better for the playthrough so I officially started reading them and I thought City Elf's probably best because of the fact that 
it's a better background story in my opinion and you guys it didn't pop up on here but it did stop me to name my character and I named her Rose Blood because I felt like that was a very fitting name for her I thought some other names but I just feel like Rose Blood was probably the best name around that I could think of at the moment because when I'm recording this it's like six in the morning almost seven but Rosebud's what I was thinking and I think it fits her very well if you guys would like to know the background story of Roseblood just let me know down in the comments below I can upload a video just explaining the young childhood of Roseblood and why her name was chosen as Roseblood right here is the sign between long hair and short hair usually I do that hairstyle for almost every girl I've never really played a girl with short hair I have done the girl with a ponytail once before. I just felt like that didn't fit Roseblood. I feel like she's more of a girly girl. She's more of a, she's, she's more, I want to say, she's more of a girly girl than a tomboy and stuff like that. But she is a very, very strong person she is ready for battle when she needs to be and you will see that in this playthrough I'm hoping that many of you enjoy this playthrough especially the Dragon Age universe that I hopefully will watch this I'm a newer youtuber so if this isn't good to if this isn't good content let me know and I can let me know what I should change let me know what I can do to make it better for you um, so I'm really hoping this really works out. I'm hoping you guys do enjoy who's ever watching this. Uh, if you want to leave me some advice down in the comments below, that'd be very helpful. And I'm not going to ask you guys to like and subscribe because it kind of makes me mad when YouTubers do that because they're just trying to talk their fans into what they should do when if they like it, they'll like the video. They won't dislike it if they truly, truly like watching it right here I was trying to figure out a good voice for her Greetings. Greetings. and Greetings. I chose the violent because I feel like that fits her more she's more of the cockier type of person that will tell you straight up how it is and what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong so that's why I chose violent now right here I was deciding between constitution strength and dexterity and willpower because magic and cunning warriors don't really need because magic gives you more mana pool cunning's mainly for rogues I did constitution because of the fact simple fact that's your health which she's gonna need a lot of since she's gonna be tanking these battles strength I did as well now right here was the hard one for me I decided to do willpower because I feel like that's really gonna help her out and right here I was also trying to figure out what I wanted to do, whether I wanted to do herbalism, traps, poison. Instead, I chose the second level, I believe. No, I chose combat tactics. Uh, then right here I was trying to figure out for talents what I wanted to do. And I wasn't sure right now what I wanted to do. But I know I want her to be good at dual wielding weapons. And now she's going to be a melee archer, so she can still shoot when someone's right in her face if I need her to. That way if I do have another warrior. Right on this playthrough, I'm doing normal. Because that's what most people do. I thought about doing the one right above it. I thought about doing hard. But I think I'll do hard in Dragon Age Awakening. So, we'll see how this goes. And again, let me know what I can do to make this better for you guys. I'm sorry if it's not the best, because again, I'm just starting my YouTube career, so I need a lot. The largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. 
This is the only world you've ever known. Until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Again, remember I told you Roseblood's the kind of person to... She can be nice when she wants to be, yes, but and I figured you deserved it. You do she's also the person is, don't you? that's going to tell you how it is. She's going to be blunt and honest with you. So let's see where that gets her in this conversation. Wedding. You're getting married and so is Soros. That's what I need to tell you. Your groom, Nella Ross, he's here early. And who else are you going to marry? Besides, I already snuck a peek. He's handsome. There's going to be music, decorations, feasting. Weddings are so much fun. You're so lucky. Which won't happen until you get going, will it? All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. So this is her big wedding day. And honestly, Roseblood doesn't want to get married, but she's kind of forced into it. And so that's why oh, she's giving all these girl. really straight up remarks. The last day I'll be able to call you that. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. Still not pleased, I can see. Of course we can talk. It's time for you to have your own life. Unmarried, you're a child forever. The dowry has been paid, the Chantry has issued the permit, and everything is ready. All we need is you. <laughs> I understand. Before I met Adaya, I was ready to go hunt for the Dalish. Just be glad I chose the match. Without parents to represent you, children like your cousin Soros end up marrying whoever the Elder can find. All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. Oh, one last thing before you go, my dear. Your martial training, the swordplay, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, Best not to mention it to your betrothed. Well, we don't want to seem like troublemakers after all. Adaya made that mistake. Go on then, I still have some things to do and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Hmm? So again, her cousin is waiting outside for her. Um. A lot of people say this game's no good anymore because how it was made in 2009 and the graphics aren't good. I still think even with bad graphics, like even with the graphics like this, if you make a good story, then it's always going to be a great game. Like even Inquisition, that has great graphics, it has a great story, great game. Dragon Age 2, yes you're stuck in a city most of the game, still a great story, a great playthrough. Well, if it isn't my lucky cousin. Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? That's easy for you to say. Apparently your groom's a dream come true. My bride sounds like a dying mouse. Great. I'll spend the next 50 years with a nice girl who hides grain away for the winter. Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. Right here will be the first time she actually meets her groom. This will be the first time she meets him because she was forced into this once again. Now, I'm not going to talk over these cutscenes just so everyone's aware. That's why I've been quiet in between the cutscenes. Isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig! Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here! Silence, worm! I 
know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Fine, but let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? What's this? Another lovely one come to keep me company. Ha! You hear that, Vaughn? Ha! Do you have any idea who I am? The Isle of Denerim's son! What? Oh, Maker. You've a lot of nerve, Knife Ears. This'll go badly for you. Oh, I really messed up this time. My It'll sister right. in this game, Roseblood's else, sister, is not now. very bright. I, I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, <clears throat> well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. I am a lucky man to be so warmly welcomed. Uh, I'm sure the two of you have a lot to discuss. Well? Here we are. Are you nervous? I'll spend every waking moment learning to make you happy. Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll come find you. Don't look now, but we have another problem. This video is coming to an end, so I just want to say thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy, and I will have a part. I will have episode two up very, very soon. Comment down below who you would like in my party later on, and what I can do to become a better YouTuber. I'm signing out. The rest of you have a great, wonderful day. Thank you for watching.